Hello everyone, welcome to Afro News South Africa. Please kindly subscribe to our channel and share our videos. Please turn on the notification bell so as to be notified when we upload a new video. Thank you all. Radical economic transformation forces of the ANC are fuming after it surfaced that former chairman, Thabo Mbeki and former finance minister, Tito Mboeni, were allegedly some of the party heavyweights who manipulated the confirmation of COPE. Congress of the People was formed incontinently after former chairman, Thabo Mbeki was recalled from his position. Over the times, it has been a enterprise that Thabo Mbeki out of bitterness went on to form Congress of the People. This was suspected as utmost of Thabo Mbeki's close abettors also joined COPE, and stepped down from sharing in the ANC conditioning since the Polyquane conference. Thabo Mbeki has also been maintaining that his vote was a secret, unlike other former chairpersons who know a hid their votes. J.J. Tabane who formerly worked as a special counsel to former COPE administrative leader, Vum Dandala spills sap that ANC heavyweights Tito Mboeni, Trevor Manuel were working from the background and used to fight on how they wanted to get involved in the handling of the party. Tabane also revealed that Thabo Mbeki used to advise and guide the party members on how to move COPE forward. He said Mbeki wasn't laboriously involved as a member, but as in counsel. RAT forces who had always suspected that Mbeki and Boeni had a hand in the confirmation of COPE now want them expelled from the party. Tito Boeni and Thabo Mbeki must be expelled from ANC, they said. Some suggest that correctional action is demanded going forward against Thabo Mbeki and fellow comrades citing that if it was former chairman, Jacob Zuma who had done commodity like this, the media and NGOs would have supported with everything to destroy him. Former Eskom superintendent, Michelle Akoko says part of the exposed by former COPE administrative leader, Vum Dandala, is that COPE was an ANC inside job which is why party heavyweights were involved. So Thabo Mbeki formed COPE, and that isn't new to you. Koko asked those who are trying to vindicate Mbeki from the expose. Again, since January, he has suggested that he has intentions to run for ANC deputy chairman at the party's public conference in December where Chairman Cyril Ramaphosa will also be over for election explaining that there's a need for a generational blend in the party's top six positions. Asked about the state of the African National Congress, INC including a breakdown in governance and cosmopolizes it controls, Justice and Correctional Services Minister, and implicit unborn Deputy Chairman, Ronald Lumola, 38 sluggishly nods his head. We're concerned, we do have challenges in all these areas still. He's set to take on current Deputy Chairman David Mabusa for the position a man he formerly compactly served as prophet for while the ultimate was Premier of Mpumalanga, if he stands. He does still admit that the ANC has lost youth choosers to parties similar as the EFF whose Chairman Julius Molina he formerly served alongside in the ANC Youth League or Action SA hence I say that the party needs to really reflect on that and the fact that the society is immature. So there's a clear need for a transition within the party in terms of one generation to the other. Lomola speaks vocally sluggishly and calculated precisely choosing his words like any smart politician.